How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week 5 of 2023 and as per usual we have our weekly update video talking about everything that's happened in the Horizon 5 world this week. So this week there's not really been anything over on the Twitter world of Forza Horizon and Forza support other than this one tweet from Forza support that they have identified an issue with the 1970 GMC Jimmy where the car backfire appears in the wrong location. Very similar to the Koenigsegg Regera back in Horizon 4. Other than that there are no Twitter updates or anything related on Twitter. The latest update is Series 17 and the Oreo car is now going to be available. This is an exclusive partnership with Xbox where you can get this Oreo car for buying a real pack of Oreos. Now it was previously told that this Oreo car was nothing special, just the special livery and design. Well I got word from someone at Turn 10 today that the Oreo car will actually have a special tune that you can't get on the standard Pagani Zonda. It's only very slightly different by a couple of PI points, it might not make much difference at all, it's still the same class, just a tiny little bit different in the PI numbers. So the Oreo car will be slightly different but nothing dramatic. On to one of the main things, the winners of the Golden Tank Awards were announced last week in the Forza Monthly stream. We're going to take a look at all of the winners in this video. More specifically, the winners for the Best Drift Event, the Best Race Event, the Best Custom Rule Set, the Best Photo Location and the overall Best Event Lab Creation of the Year. These were competitions that Forza had running. They were four nominees chosen for each section, each category, and now the winners have finally been chosen, so we're going to take a look at all of them now. Let's first take a look at the best photo location. Who won that? It's my pleasure to present the award for best photo location, and the winner is... Noches de Neon by Don Juan Song. Next up, the best drift event. Let's have a look who won that. Anyways, uh, for your consideration, introducing the best drift event nominees. And the winner is... Open envelope. Leash is what it says there. Uh, <laughs> Grand Duna Raceway 2.0 Drift Comp by Stink Missile. Congratulations. That deserves an award just because of the name. The best custom rule set. Let's take a look at that one. So we're excited to honour the aspiring designers with the award for best custom rule set. And the winner is... Forest Rally by James Hill. Best race event is the penultimate one. Who had the best race event? Let's have a look. So let's show some love for the nominees for best race event. And the winner is... Ready? Mule here Outskirts by Typhon Hardfart. Now the last one, which is the best event lab creation of the year, presented by Torben. We all know Torben, we love our Torben Tuesdays. Here is the best event lab creation of the year. Look, let's get to it. You made cool stuff, thanks for that. Here are the ones that we thought were the coolest. And the winner is... Parametric by Joe C. So there we are, quite funny, something a bit different. Those are all of the Golden Tank Award winners. Congrats to you all. Now on to the second topic of the video, which is second expansion related. This is quite interesting. I'm sure most of you saw last week there was an Xbox Games Showcase with Bethesda and one of the games was Forza Motorsport. There was a section where we got to see Forza Motorsport a bit more in detail than we'd seen before. Now lots of people spotted that within the sort of the trailer that we got for Forza Motorsport, was lots of Lego cars. We can see on screen that there was maybe five, six or seven, maybe even more than that, scenes where Lego cars were very obviously spotted. We've got these here, we've got the Lego figurines on the monitor, two more cars there, a Senna just sat there, two more cars there, a lot of Lego cars. Now this is bringing up the possibility and bringing up the rumours that maybe the second expansion for Horizon 5 is Lego again. Now I think the reason, two reasons people are leaning towards this being true is because we got Hot Wheels again so maybe it's not unrealistic to get Lego again. I see where people are coming from and along with that there's Lego cars everywhere. 
Now, honestly, I'm kind of in the middle. I don't really know. I mean, it seems like a very random thing to do to make it quite obvious that there's a lot of Lego cars in these scenes. And the Lego cars have nothing to do with Forza Motorsport. So, I don't know. It's weird that they'd do that. Surely they would know that people would bring up these rumours and possibilities. Whether or not they would give us Lego again... I really don't know. I mean, I can imagine that Lego, the Lego expansion for Horizon 4 was probably quite successful. But just because it's successful doesn't mean you should do it again. Do something different. I don't know the mindset of Playground Games. I don't know if they will do Lego again. I guess we've got to put the possibility out there now that maybe these are some teasers. They are known for doing teasing things. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on that. Do you think the Lego expansion is going to be done again. Now while we're on the topic of the second expansion I want to quickly talk about when we're going to hear about it because it's one of the number one most talked things about now. Here is the Forza release timeline that I've been looking at over the past few months that I've made and I think I know what's happening. We can see that Forza Horizon 5 released here. We can see that Forza Motorsport, the new Forza Motorsport game which we were told we were going to get in spring 2023 is going to release somewhere around here. In spring obviously now we've got the first expansion here we know when that came out that was Hot Wheels now the second expansion is still nowhere to be seen and that's concerning to me because playground games don't like to release expansions at the same time as games because it just wouldn't make much sense they want to have their own sort of couple of months now if we are getting motorsports in spring right here that means that the second expansion has to release somewhere in this green area otherwise it's not early 2023 anymore and we were told that the second expansion is coming in 2023 however we have seen that the forza motorsport game that was shown last week has presumably been delayed it's no longer promised for spring and it's more likely to be towards the end of the year around here now what does that mean? That means the second expansion has a much larger time window to release. I think the second expansion was planned for February slash March, but because Forza Motorsport is now delayed towards the end of the year, they've sort of pushed the expansion back to fill the gap that has now been created. That's my personal opinion on it. I don't know if it's true, we'll have to wait and see. So what I'm trying to say is, I think the second expansion for Horizon 5 is going to be maybe a good few months away. May, June, July, very similar to the last expansion. I think this is a bit more of a realistic release time for the second expansion. There's big enough gaps between everything, nothing's too close together, it all looks rather perfect. And if we look at all of the previous Horizon games, the gap between Expansion 1 and 2 was bigger than the gap between the release and Expansion 1. And if we place the second expansion for Horizon 5 here, it all adds up to that. So that's what I think is going to happen. Unfortunately, no more Expansion 2 in early 2023. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That is everything we have to talk about today, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for another video. If anything else pops up, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.